Hey guys, today we're playing Crow Country. Heard good things about this. Don't really know what to expect. Let's get into it. They have a survival horror mode and they have an exploration mode. I guess you just walk around the map and just check it out. We ain't no little babies. We're gonna do survival horror because it is the month of horror. That was one thing that I was really like drawn to. Just our first look was the graphics. Pro Country looks really cool, man. It definitely like goes for that old PS1 horror game vibe. Reminds me like the old Resident Evils, uh, but even like a more unique twist, like toy-like character models. I, I don't know, but it's it's very interesting. It's chained up. The padlock looks a little rusty. It would probably break with enough force. Gotta go check out my trunk. We got some junk back there. Trunk of my car. Let's open it. And gun ammo. Let's take the ammo. I guess we're just gonna shoot it open. Pro Country looks to be the theme park. It's a diagram of a video game controller. Take a screenshot, guys, so we can we can come back to this later. <laughs> it's a board of ticket prizes. The place was used to be fairly popular with locals. One thing I definitely like is you don't have to click on everything. You'll just walk up to it and a text prompt will pop up. You know, like give you like a you know a basic line of text that kind of like talks about what the item is. Then you can press A on it and get some more information or interact with it. That's pretty cool. I have no intention of buying a ticket. Yeah, we're going to fucking break in. What are these rapscallions up to in here? Get out of here, you crows. Some kind of dead animal. Can't make out any features. It's King Crow. It's a big crow. Hello, Mr. Crow. I'm looking for your boss. Do you know where he is? Fortune telling crow. You have 10 credits remaining. Would you like to hear your fortune? Yeah, sure. Talk to the tree fairy to enter the fairy pond. Oh, okay. So I guess it gives you like hints. What's in the trash? It's full of trash. I reach in the trash. There's a med kit in the trash. I don't think that's where med kits are supposed to go. Fine, I admit it. I dropped the bronze key in the fairy pond. It was an accident. It wouldn't be such a problem if we had made a spare. So we're looking for the fairy pond. Yeah, I bet there's something in this box too. Dude, we're good on med kits. Fairy tale town. Okay, I think we're in the right direction. I'm guessing this is our flashlight. Yes, sir. And now I can see a little bit better. <laughs> 2106. Uh, guys, screenshot that. Screenshot that. We're going to forget that. It's a little house. What's in there? Open that door. I think it's locked, but there's no keyhole. What about that little post box? Hmm. There's a bronze keyhole. I don't have a bronze key. I'm like wasting all my ammo just breaking these items. I don't know if that's like a rookie mistake or what. Bear trap. It's a giant mushroom. He doesn't look very happy. Is this a door? I can't see a way to open it. It's over here. It's a keypad. I already forgot that fucking number. Hold on. 2106. 21. Oh, there's no zero. It's a Polaroid camera. I think it's broken. That's fucking scary. Hey, buddy. What happened here? What? Who? My name is Amara Forrest. I'm here to help. They attacked me. All I wanted was proof. What's your name? Arthur Mole. <laughs> I just needed a better, a clearer photo. A photo of what? Who attacked you, Arthur? Those things, I don't know. Those people, they saw me and... Alright, stay calm. You're bleeding quite badly. What did you say your name was? Mara. Mara Forrest. Come to think of it, I should take a look at your leg. Alright, let's give him the healing item. We have so fucking many. Now you're indebted to me for the rest of your life, Arthur. I still feel kind of bad. Come on, let's move to get somewhere safe. Okay, cool. We brought him to the car. Very nice of us. How are you doing? I'm okay. To be honest, your leg hurts pretty bad, right? Yeah, it's throbbing. It feels weird. You're gonna turn into a fucking crow. How did you know? The thing that hurt you, it hurt me too. Not the same exact one, but still. Do I need to go to the hospital? Just sit tight, alright? You'll be safe in the car. You need to roll that window up. You need to roll that window up, boy. Note on the floor. Tree lady 3184. Okay. 3184. Hey. Oh. Oh my god. I think I remember you have to talk to her. There was some kind of phrase you had to say. Oh great fairy. Take heed, oh great fairy, oh greens greenness glen. Uh, that wasn't right. Hear me, oh great fairy of the fairy forest. Hear me, oh great fairy of the fairy forest. Welcome, child. Oh, I guess that. Will you protect our precious natural world? Uh yeah. Oh okay. Let's go. Let's see what's popping. Dude, the audio is scary as shit. Shit. It's filthy water. Right. Oh, now that light's coming in handy. Ventilator override don't touch. But I kind of want to open it, though. Oh, nothing happened. <laughs> it can be tightened. Tighten it. Tighten it. Oh, oh, okay. Fuck. So the guy who fixed the water filter did it by running it through the air ventilation system. If you run the pump filter behind the curtain with the incorrect pressure, too high or too low, it'll trigger the ventilator. Be careful. Okay, that clearly moved. Who took the Ocean Kingdom restaurant trident? That thing is expensive. 
and without it we can't do the happy birthday sea monster song. Someone said they saw it in the witchwood. I'd go check, but that place gives me the creeps, honestly. Pen on the wall. Oh, that's scary. It's a model of a crow with robot parts. The very last time I went to the theater with Ophela, we saw an action movie about a cybernetic man from the future. Didn't really get it, but she loved it. She wouldn't stop talking about it. Got to work on designing this cyborg crow since I thought she'd like it. I was going to propose it to Edward as a new themed arena of the park. After I lost Ophela, I shelved the project. The eye is made of from a laser light. Oh, is a curtain? Oh, move the curtain. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Go, 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 go. Tighten, 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 tighten. Pull the lever. Okay. Is that what we needed to do? It's a pool of water. It's a reflecting pond. Okay, so we, cl we clean the water, I guess? Those who seek the truth stare to the pure reflective pond. The water of our fairy pond. Something was dropped here, right? Let's go mess with something else. Oh. take a lot of bullets oh shit all right we're out of bullets fuck cosmic future coming 1990 okay supposed to be finished this year now it'll never happen handwritten letter hey ed want some good news i finally found a good site for our old gold mine it's in Para, northern Brazil. Just like we wanted, there's a disused mine here. The locals gave up on it years ago. It's still in decent shape, so it shouldn't be too much work to get it looking the part. Oh, shenanigans. No. Give me that. Oh, handgun ammo. I wasn't expecting handgun ammo to come out of the vending machine. Grenade in the trash can? What the hell? If you're looking for the machine chain, one of the swan boat people took it to fix a broken swan. I told them not to take it, and they took it anyway. You can't reason with swan boat people. Swan boat people are crazy. Okay, more and more. Okay. Now we can probably go fuck those guys up. Oh, fuck. Christ. That is very unsettling. dead. Ugh. It smells so bad. Like an infected wound. I feel bad killing it, but I feel bad leaving it alive too. Jeez, yeah. It's a wooden crate. There's a note taped to the lid. Shipped to Marvin Trumbler, Era Brazil, South America. Samples of geological interest. Oh no. Full of rocks. Each one is embedded with pieces of shiny metal. Is this a crate full of gold ore? Can I ask why the dig site accesses that cute little house? Don't you think there's a chance that some kind of kid would want to go looking in there? At the very least, let's keep it locked via the keyhole on the mailbox. Something's not right. I'm guessing it's the safe room. Monday morning, driving to work. Boss calls into my car radio. He doesn't normally do that. Something must have gone wrong. Intruder alarm going off the second unit. Boss thinks someone is down there. Get to work. Check the security cameras. Someone is down there. He's standing right by the pool. All the security doors down to the pool are locked. Check security records. Doors untouched since 6 p.m. on Friday. Alarm has only just been triggered. I turn on the intercom trying to communicate. No response. But I can hear the sound he's making. Something is wrong. His clothes don't fit him. Something's very wrong. Shoot one ammo to get mini ammo. That's that's called investments. God! Ah, oh, you fucking asshole. This is the first thing that scared me so far. <laughs> that actually got me. Alright, maybe we can just avoid that guy. We should just avoid these guys too. Don't mind us. Hey. Don't mind me, buddy. No harm. Ah! Try to run around this guy. Jesus. What the hell's over this way? It's a wheel. Doesn't turn. There's a strange swan head. Do I need to put something in its mouth? You want my ID card? Okay, fuck. So the eggs are going missing. I think the kids are stealing them. Luckily, it turns out you can use anything as long as it's about the right size and shape. It's weird. I assume the eggs were magnetic or something, but apparently not. Okay, so we need something egg shape, I guess, to put in his mouth. Let's find something round to put in his mouth. <laughs> God, looks fucking creepy. Oh my God. Look at these freaks. What's blocking it? Strange sighting at the abandoned theme park. <laughs> Is the zombie in there shitting? I guess I'll leave. What are you doing in there? 
Ah, uh, the best part of Cave of Horrors is not knowing where the hell to go. Okay, I think I know what to do. I think I'm supposed to shoot this target. <laughs> I just now noticed that. Oh. What up? She holding the key. Let me get that key real quick. Thank you. Now that we have that, we can run back to this little mailbox. Okay, I guess we go into here. Uh oh. What in the hell is this shit? Nothing. You're making me waste my ammo now. June 3rd, 1986. We hired a company to start excavating. It didn't go to plan. Problem one, they spent too long setting up the site. Problem two, there was already a paper trail forming. The whole point was to do this quickly and quietly. Uh oh. They started asking questions. That's never good. Obviously, they had to go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can hear something down there. I don't know if we should bring them up. Whoever's down there is pissed. Alright, so now we've got more issues. We solve one problem and we got 12 more. Fucking scary fucker. Can I slow him? Don't mind me. How the fuck does that not work? Excuse me, buddy. Yeah, I mean, you know, harm. We're just gonna scoot on past you. Yeah, we're just gonna scoot on past you. Don't even mind us. No! Well, I guess that's what I get for being cheap, gang.